What's poppin' T-Squad? It's your girl Keisha and I'm here with tonight's All-T All-Shade Basketball Wives Season 7 Episode 5 Review. Sorry if I'm talking a little bit funny. I bit my tongue yesterday and it hurts. So, we start off tonight's episode with Jackie, Malaysia, and OG going shopping. It's the first time OG and Malaysia have ever met. I love Malaysia glasses. They were clear. They were big, uh, big, you know, wide frames. I love them. Malaysia is shocked when she learns that OG plays football. Malaysia feels OG style needs help. And that I agree with. I like OG, but sis cannot dress worth the damn. And we're going to see that a lot later. So when OG goes to try on some clothes, Malaysia pulls Jackie to the side to say, you think you slick. You got somebody that can bust ass because you tired of jumping over tables. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, you are not telling a lie. I see you, Jackie. Bitch, I see you. You always bring hoes that are about it, about it, right about it, and like to start some shit. So OG come out in a hot pink sister wife button up. She trying to tie the shit up at the bottom. Malaysia like, girl, no, that ain't how you word. No, girl, and not with them pants. What the fuck is you doing? Go sit down. So Evelyn is at her house taking all her vitamins and shit because you know she trying to preserve the puss. <laughs> she tells Shanice that she's discarding her embryos. And I'm just so tired of her and this talk with these damn embryos. Bitch, I told you to fry them sons of bitch up the last couple episodes ago and eat them motherfuckers. Nobody gives a fuck. She feels like now that she can get pregnant with somebody else and she don't need embryos and IBL, she can do it all natural. Um, since you are 42 years old, get your word and sit your ass the fuck down. I'm so tired of this bitch trying to secure the bag by having another baby and having some nigga pay her child support for the next 18 years so she can live comfortably. Do something with your life, bitch. Cece uh, tells Byron that there is still some tension between her and the ladies. And I feel sorry for Cece because she has been having a hard time with this show. It is not made for her. Malaysia, Evelyn, and OG meet up for drinks. OG show up looking like a misguided, slutty, half-human, half-horse, mythological, unicorn, Targaryen, Game of Thrones, Viserion, Drag. I don't know what the fuck this shit was. She had on this wig that was crispy and crunchy and was pushed back and her leave out that she parted was quite nappy and didn't mix in with the weave. And then she had a necklace wrapped around her head like Kim Kardashian when she got married to that basketball nigga. Then she had on this pale pink matte lipstick that was way too light for her skin complexion. Then she wore this metallic low plunge v-neck dress that exposed her flapjack titties the motherfucker was sitting like the house of pancakes it was just a mess she looked terrible i'm like who are your friends sis how your nigga letting you walk out the house looking like that knowing you're gonna be on live television making a fool out of yourself so she asked Evelyn if she can coexist with the other ladies after what happened at her birthday party. And Evelyn says she can. Malaysia say, you know, we just all have different energies. OG keep the combo going, but Malaysia, like, you know, <clears throat> low-key shut up. She trying to cough and shit, trying to tell her, just leave the conversation alone. Malaysia feel like, Malaysia tells her, I feel like you're being a traitor because you're asking about their friction. OG say, Jackie told me we were, fr you were friends, though, so you looking more like a traitor to me, meaning like, you got a problem me asking her about her and Jackie beef, but yet to see you hanging with the bitch, so what's the tea? I get where she's coming from, but at the same token, Malaysia was trying to save her from her and I guess Evelyn getting into it. I don't really know. Um, Malaysia said, you know, I would defend Jackie to the end. If you're supposed to be her friend, stop asking her questions about Jackie. She'll tell you. Um, OG say she don't want to talk about it and Malaysia say well that means she don't want you to know <laughs> and I agree like if Jackie don't want to talk about it then why are you trying to get information out of Evelyn about it so Evelyn is sitting back just sipping her wine because in her confessional she basically say she don't want no smoke with OG because she know OG with the shits and then later go that greater goes into my conversation that Evelyn ain't with the shits for real and then she picks and choose who she will attempt to bully and fight because she know OG will whoop her ass. Um, OG asks Malaysia, you know, what is your beef? And Malaysia say, no beef. You're just being messy and trying to get too off into it. OG say, the only person that was giving off an energy that there was a problem is you. She was sitting here fine, but you up here coughing and shit. Malaysia say, that was giving you a warning to just chill out. OG say, I don't know that. I don't know you. 
The lady said, well, now you know. Ooh. And then OG said, well, I don't give warnings. I give guarantees. And I was like, bitch, I am with it. I got to use that shit. And you know Malaysia ain't good with comebacks when somebody get her ass. So all she could say was, well, I give guarantees too. <laughs> like a little kid. Exactly what Evelyn called. I mean, um, Shawnee called her out about last season. And I was like, Malaysia, in the off season, you were supposed to work on your comebacks, girl, because she got your ass. OG then decides to leave. But before she goes, she says to Evelyn, you and Wig can stay here. And I was like, ooh, bitch, no, you ain't talking about nobody wig because yours look a mess. But Malaysia's look equally terrible, too, because she was trying to give us an old Scarface, Michelle Pfeiffer type look. But them bangs was just too thick. It wasn't cut right. It was just a mess. Mess. And Malaysia ever looked like, this is bitch really trying to cut for my wig? Malaysia say, but yours is coming off. And OG say, no, it's not. And we all like, yes, it is. And Malaysia say, I see it, though. And OG say, not with those bags. <laughs> OG, you a fool for that one. So Tammy, Malaysia, and Jackie go to an acting class. Malaysia tells them what happened with OG and her getting into it. Jackie is surprised and wants them to squash the beef. Malaysia wants to have a wig party and wants OG to come so she can help her with her hair. And I was like, now see, there y'all go with that fake shit. Didn't we learn this shit from last season when y'all tried to give an old girl that fucking makeover? Like, if you feel like the bitch need help with her hair, instead of telling everybody else, why don't you tell that bitch that you so about it, about it, about it, about it. Don't try to do no behind the scenes sneaky shit trying to make her look crazy. Like, that's whack. So, Tammy feel like they not being real because if you know, Malaysia felt like OG needs to change her look, then why you ain't tell her? Tammy meets with OG. She tells her, you know, Reggie is planning a surprise proposal to her. It's a surprise because she don't know when it's going to happen, but she knows it's about to happen. OG tells her that she feels like she's on an island by herself, and Tammy relates because the girls ostracized her when she first came into the clique, you know, judging her by the way she looked and by the way she dressed, which was not fair. OG wants to do damage control with Malaysia and Kristen. Tammy tells her, you know, to keep her composure at the wig party. Um, OG says, you know, she feel like she coming into an ambush because she kind of figuring that the theme of the party is about her and Malaysia trying to be funny. And I was like, well, at least you know, bitch. Tammy tell her, if some shit go down, just let you know, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> and I was like, that's keeping it a book. So it's the night of the wig party. Malaysia says she flew in her wig makeup and that OG needs her help. And I was like, Malaysia. Um, you need help with your fashions. You need help with your makeup. You need help with your lashes. You need help with your wigs. You ain't but uh, like a two couple of notches up from OG. Malaysia nine times out of ten has been looking a mess her lately ever since her and that nigga broke up. You can tell the funds is not there no more. The girls arrive. Evelyn sees Tammy trying on the wig and say, oh, she should be trying on the wig. And I'm like... All season you've been throwing digs at this woman and she ain't paying your ass no motherfucking attention. She paying your ass dust. But you so motherfucking impressed by this bitch. So OG comes in and she looked pregnant in this scene. I was like, what's going on, sis? So her outfit was like corporate America up top. And then it was like Magic City down below with them gold boots on. I'm like, where are you going? Like it just ain't never together. It ain't never coordinating. So then Kristen and Cece arrive. OG pulls Malaysia to the side to talk. She said, you know, she read her trying to help her negatively and apologizes. Malaysia apologized too. They squash the shit and Malaysia helped her find a wig. OG try on the wig and Evelyn said, you know, that's the one OG. Kristen, what you think? And Kristen say no. And I was like, see, Kristen, this is how you got your ass going off on last time because you should have just not said nothing. Jackie tells Cece what happened between Kristen and the OG, catching her up on everything she said she wasn't at OG's party. OG loves the wig, and um, Kristen can't believe her confidence, huh? She cannot believe that a bitch, I guess that's that ugly, can have that much confidence. But obviously, somebody like her ass, she got a man. You know what I'm saying? Somebody love her. It's somebody out there for everybody. Now, I don't feel like just because OG is not a quote-unquote, you know quintessential beauty that she shouldn't have confidence in herself. I didn't really like that about Kristen. I didn't like that. So, Malaysia gives OG the wig that she tried on, which was a huge step up from the one that she, you know, been wearing. I thought that was very nice of Malaysia. OG asks Jackie, you know, is this how it always is? The division? Because it's her, Jackie, and Tammy, and then um, Kristen, Jen, and uh, 
Evelyn off on one side and Jackie and Tammy like, yeah, this is how it is. Just, you know, be prepared. And then her confessional, Tammy say that Jen be acting, be, treating her differently now that she done became back friends with Evelyn and she feels like she needs to just learn how to navigate the two and not act towards funny towards one when she's around the other one. And I can understand that because when Evelyn wasn't fucking with her and she would pop up her and her at Tammy's event, she was glued to Tammy motherfucking side and now she act like she can barely speak to the bitch. So Cece asks OG what happened at her party and OG tells her. Tammy say, why y'all whispering? <laughs> and I'm like, her Tammy trying to get the party started. I knew exactly what she was doing. She was causing a ruckus and was gonna cause the ruckus and then dip. She was doing her motherfucking job. So Kristen say, you know, she feels some type of way about Cece talking to OG, but I looked at it as Cece was talking to OG to find out what happened because she was trying to have Kristen back. She wasn't trying to be funny or coming from a malicious place. Jackie had put the bug in her ear and she was trying to see what was up because she genuinely has Cece, uh, uh, Kristen's back, but Kristen does not have Cece's. Um, Kristen tells Cece that she missed some unnecessary bullshit. Kristen says to OG, you know, hi, it's nice to see you in a monotone voice and with an attitude. And OJ said, I'm listening. You know, I'm listening like I'm not going to speak back to you. Like, what? What's up, bitch? Kristen says, see, you can't even be nice. And I was like, well, bitch, she's not going to be nice with the way that you spoke to her. Y'all didn't speak when y'all came in. Bitch, don't speak to me now. Kristen explains she didn't like OG bringing up her husband and her child. OG tells what happened, believes out the fact that she said to her, you know, like, is your husband at home? Like, you sure that nigga ain't out cheating? <laughs> She tells Kristen that she looks like a desperate housewife and that she is thirsty for attention. I feel like Kristen is doing a lot so she can fit in with Kristen and Jen and I really don't understand why, girl, because somebody gonna whoop your pretty ass. Tammy tells OG that her saying, oh, is he, you know, implying that Kristen's husband, Kristen husband was, you know, doing something wrong, was fucked up. They squash it and Tammy leaves because, you know, her time of filming is up for the night. Malaysia tells Cece that she poked the bird and ran basically saying that she started the shit. Cece, um, like I said, only asked her because Jackie put it in her fucking ear. Um, Jennifer says to Cece, you're being a shit starter. Cece say, I'm being a shit starter, but y'all made up a whole story about me. Like, what the fuck? Jennifer say, this bitch is crazy. She is fucking crazy. I'm no bitch, you're crazy. Cece say, I'm not about to, you know, do the funky, the funky two-step with y'all. <laughs> it's like, Chris. CC, where you get the fucking two step from? Girl, you gotta stop fucking that old nigga. So everybody was making fun of her for saying that shit. And Evelyn say, where did you get your nursing degree from? Cause you this don't really make no sense. And I'm like, bitch, how the fuck you trying to downplay her for having a nursing degree? And all you got a degree in is hoology, bitch. Like you can't talk about nobody. I'm sick of y'all trying to bully hoes that y'all know ain't gonna fight back and it is, but you know, not as confrontational as y'all. And that's why they keep on fucking with CC because they see that she's weak. They she's they see that she's not a girl that likes to fight and argue and all that type of shit. You see they ain't coming at OG like that because OG will boom bop they asses. They not gonna come to Malaysia like that. They not gonna come to Tammy like that. They some punk pussy ass bitches. Her and motherfucking Jennifer, old horse, Clydesdale looking ass. I can't stand neither one of them droopy eyed hoes. Girl, fuck you raggedy old hoe ass bitches. All y'all do is lay on y'all motherfucking backs to get a coin. Jennifer, you over here fucking niggas that look like they half past dead to pay your motherfucking light bill. Going back for your ugly ass husband with that door knock on his forehead then you already fucking with fat ass Tim's whose hips bigger than yours bitch you know you did not like neither one of them old unattractive ass niggas but you fucked with them to get your lifestyle to where the fuck you at and then Evelyn you and your old Puerto Rican so free throw ass pussy coming from the motherfucking projects and shit you would still be in the motherfucking projects if it wasn't for these niggas that co-signed your whole motherfucking life bitch how you hoes gonna sit up here and try to talk about somebody when y'all ain't got shit going for y'all but a mother fucking reality show check y'all ain't did nothing substantial with y'all life outside of lay on your motherfucking back and back and suck a dick and take a punch to the forehead i ain't gonna even go into the rest of the motherfucking review because them hoes pissed me off so bad and i wish i was there to go in on them bitches because it's so fucked up the way they doing cc and i feel bad for her because kristen old fake silky her ass <laughs> oh billy d williams looking ass off her playing her ain't she supposed to be like your motherfucking uh mother-in-law some shit bitch she got your motherfucking back you done met these hoes five minutes ago and you already giving them your motherfucking ass to kiss for these old fake ass bitches that don't give a fuck about you you fake as fuck you flaw as fuck Fuck you and the three little amigos, the three motherfucking little pigs, you pig ass bitches. Fuck all y'all. That's my motherfucking review. I can't stand them hoes. Good night.